Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerk Arcade or BergzerkArcade.com and I just want to go over a few of the things I've noticed that are a little bit different in Unity 3 Beta 3 as opposed to the Beta 2 version. Now, first off, you notice it's a different color. They went with a darker theme. Uh, I kind of like it. it. It's new. I like the way uh, your warnings and your errors kind of really pop up. Uh, they're the same color still in the editor. I'm just going to try it for a little while, see how I like it. I'll probably end up making the text a little bit brighter as the medium gray on dark gray isn't really that appealing to me. But if you don't like it and you're adamant about it right at the start, you can just go up to the preferences, go into colors, and adjust it, adjust it to the way you want. So as you see by default, it is set to this now. Now this just might be a beta 3 uh, thing, uh, only time will tell. So on to a few other things that I've noticed that are different. In one of the previous videos, the, the one on tree generation, you'll notice that uh, the trees had a seam in it that you could see through after you were done generating them. Uh, that's been fixed. I haven't noticed anything with that. Uh, one of the other improvements I've noticed is now when you go to import a new package, uh, Unity used to come with two packages, the standard package and the pro package. Now, it come, they've broken those two down into several other packages. I know they started marking some of them as pro only. As we get closer to the actual release date, we'll find out for sure which ones are, are actually going to be pro. I like this a lot because I found a lot of the times I was importing the standard uh, assets package and only needing one or two things out of it. So I'd have to import, I'd either have to go through the import settings. Here, let's actually import one and take a look at it. So we'll decompress. Now I used to have to go through and pick exactly what I wanted out of it or just import the whole thing and delete what I didn't want out of it and I found that the deleting method to be the, the faster of the two in most cases. Uh, one of the other things I might not have shown yet about Unity 3, now when you click on certain assets like the TIFF, you'll get a preview of it over here. And this should work for all image uh, formats that Unity supports. Now I'm not sure about sound, there won't be any sound in here, but you can just click import, I'll go through, it's going to import. Now they still seem to save in your standard assets, uh, I, haven't in, I haven't imported all of them yet to take a look. Some of them have changed, like your image effects have changed. So we're down here, there's your, all your skyboxes. All the image effects that we had in the previous version of beta have been updated as well. Let me just select the camera so they show up a little bit better. I'm not seeing any new ones. Oh, this might be new. Yeah, aside from that, they all look fairly familiar. Actually, volumetric lights looks a little different too. Well, if there's any new ones, here's a list of all the ones that are included right now. Now I've had to delete my old standard assets and my uh, pro assets out of my projects and re-import the new versions. Uh, there was a lot of errors in the old versions that were popping up, but when I've imported the new ones, uh, all the errors disappeared. A lot of them were in the uh, image effects, so it's good to see that they're constantly being upgraded. With the iPhone basic license, I still can't make a build for my iPhone or iPad to test on yet. I'm still getting the same errors that I used to in the previous video I posted about the errors. Uh, one of the things that uh, they have fixed up that I really like is uh, this little scene here that I have created. I've created it through just a random maze generator. But when you hit play, if you look at the stats, you notice that everything's being batched. I only have two draw calls. Uh, in the previous version of beta, I usually had about 20% more uh, draw call. I, the draw calls would be about 20% of the batched. So that's been greatly improved. It actually feels a lot smoother and quicker. As I discover more changes between this version of Unity Beta and the previous version, I'll be sure to update the website. So stay tuned. I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.